हेलो चैंपियंस आई होप यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग लर्निंग एट होम राइट सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू लर्न मोर अबाउट एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन डू नो वी कैन फॉर्म नंबर पैटर्न यूजिंग एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑपरेशन लेट्स ट्राई सम इन द फर्स्ट वन बट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द रूल If the second number is bigger than the first number, we will check the addition rule. Okay, and if the second number is smaller than the first number, we will use the subtraction rule. Okay, let's try. Four thousand five hundred and five thousand. This is bigger, right? So we are going to use. Addition rule, but how much to add? For that, we have to subtract four thousand five hundred from five thousand. When we subtract, we get the answer five hundred. So, our rule says add five hundred, and the pattern continues. Four thousand five hundred plus five hundred makes five thousand. Plus five hundred makes five thousand five hundred. Then six thousand. Six thousand plus five hundred will be six thousand five hundred. Then seven thousand. Then seven thousand five hundred. Then eight thousand, and so on. Right? Easy. Now let's move to the second one. Here. The second number is smaller than the first number, so we are going to use minus rule, subtraction rule. Now, what is the difference? To find out, we will subtract eight thousand from eight thousand two hundred, and the difference is two hundred. So, our rule is subtract two hundred. Check eight thousand minus two hundred will be. Seven thousand eight hundred. This minus two hundred will be seven thousand six hundred. Great. So you have to subtract two hundred from each given number, and our answer will be our next number will be seven thousand four hundred, then seven thousand two hundred, then seven thousand, then six thousand eight hundred, and so on. Easy. Now this one is a little tricky. Kindly pay attention. Over here, as we can see, the number is getting bigger. Okay. So first of all, we are going to use addition rule. So two thousand minus thousand is thousand. Okay. So the number gets bigger by thousand. Our first rule says plus thousand. But then, as you can see, the number becomes smaller, which means we have two rules over here. First, we have to add thousand. Then we have to subtract two thousand minus one thousand five hundred gives five hundred. Okay. So first, add thousand, then subtract five hundred. After this, we again added thousand. Now again we'll subtract five hundred. Now again we will add one thousand. So it will become three thousand. Now again subtract five hundred. It will become two thousand five hundred. Then add thousand, which makes three thousand five hundred. So in this way, addition and subtraction can be useful to form patterns. And now it's time to go to the story sums. In practical life, we come to some situations where we have to add or subtract to calculate the answers that we need. Story sums are the example of such situation. Okay, let's look at the first one. A vacation fair was held. Nineteen thousand four hundred sixty people visited on Friday. 
So first of all, encircle the number. Okay. Why? I'll tell you later. Right now, let's continue reading. So 19,460 people on Friday. 20,640 people visited on Saturday. So circle the next number. And 25,437 people visited on Sunday. How many people visited the fair in these three days? Over here, as we can see, we have to find the total number of people who visited the fair in three days. Right? So, when we have to find the total, we will add. Exactly. We will use addition. So, let's start writing the answer. But, this is a story thumb. We cannot directly write the sum. We also have to form the statements. And I made you encircle these numbers so that we can form the statements easily. See how. On the place of the number, we will write number of people visited on Friday. So, our solution begins number of people visited on Friday is equal to 19,460. Now, our second statement will be number of people visited on Saturday. So, here it goes. Number of people visited on Saturday is equal to 20,640. Lastly, number of people visited on Sunday. is equal to 25,437. Now, we simply have to add these three numbers. 7, 0 plus 0 plus 7 remains 7. 6 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. So, 1 goes up. 4 plus 1 is 5. 6 plus 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 4, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 5 down, 1 goes up. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 0 remains 10. And 10 plus 5 becomes 15. Again 1 up, 5 down. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 5, 6. So, the answer is 65,537 people. So, our last statement is total number of people is equal to 65,537. We will also write the statement for answer. Okay? For writing the statement of answer, instead of how many, we will write our answer. 65,537 people visited the fair in these days. Visited the fair. So, it's not that difficult. The statements are given in the question itself. You just have to find out and arrange them properly. I know you can do this on your own. Try the same sum doing on your own without looking at this solution. Come on, try it. Now let's try solving one more sum. Ready? Let's read the question. A stadium was occupied by 3,252 children and 7,653 adults. Okay, 
The stadium has 25,575 seats in all. Now, to imagine this properly, I'll draw one diagram. Suppose these are the total seats in the stadium. Okay? Out of this, these many seats were occupied by children and these seats were occupied by adults. We have to find the remaining seats. For this, we will first find out the total number of occupied seats. Okay? So, here we have to first add how many seats are occupied in all. Okay? So, some of the seats are occupied by children and some of the seats are occupied by adults. Let's start writing the solution. Step 1. Number of seats occupied by children is equal to 3,252. Number of seats occupied by adults is equal to 7,653. Total seats occupied is equal to, we have to add, 3 plus 2 for 5, 5 plus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2 plus 1, 3 and 6 plus 3, 7, 8, 9. 7 plus 3, 8, 9, 10. So, the total seats occupied were 10,905. Okay. Now, out of the total seats, if we remove the occupied seats, we will get how many seats are left. Right? So, let's find out. Step 2. Out of the total seats, we are going to subtract, remove the occupied seats, total occupied seats. Let's start. Total number of seats is equal to 25,575. Number of Seats occupied is 10,905. Now, number of seats remaining, yeah, left is equal to, we will subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0, 7 minus 0 is 7. Now, 5 minus 9 is not possible because 5 is smaller than 9. So, it will go for help. 15 minus 9. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many? 6. 4 minus 0 is 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So, answer is 14,670 seats remained empty. So this was a two steps sum which included addition as well as subtraction. It's easy. Just read it again and practice on your own. All the best. Enjoy learning at home.